In this video, we're going to troubleshoot an Asus laptop that is no longer responding to the mouse. The mouse is not working, the trackpad. So we're going to go ahead and troubleshoot on how to fix that. Hopefully we can fix you today. So if you haven't restarted the Asus, go ahead and restart it. That may fix some of your problems. Um, that Maybe the driver got deactivated or something. So make sure you just restart the Asus and then see if it works. Now, next, what you're going to do is on your keyboard here, you want to see if the function key on the bottom left. Now, it could be one of these keys, but on Asus, I have um, F5 marked here. But technically on Asus, it's usually the F6 button, F6, or the F9. So what you want to do is you want to look for a little logo on the function keys that looks like a trackpad like this. And it'll be on one of these keys. Most likely it'll be on F6 or F9. So what you do is you do locate it, and you want to hold down the function key, which is usually on the left side, and then you want to hit once. You're going to hit the F6 or the F9, wherever you see that logo. If for whatever reason you don't see the uh, trackpad logo, hold down the function and try each one individually, from F1 all the way to F12, and then see if that fixes your problem. Okay, next thing you're going to want to do, I do realize that you're not able to use your mouse. But if you can get down here to the search here where you can type in trackpad or touchpad or mouse, I want you to type that in there. You might have to use the tab button, the T-A-B, to get down here where you can type. So type in uh, touchpad or um, you could type in uh, mouse. And then you want to get to the mouse settings. You're going to hit, you're going to uh, enter. You might have to use the tab button to get here. You click enter. And there'll be a section on there where you can see where it'll have like pointing devices or mouse devices I want you to click on that and then see if you're able to uh, enable it from uh, your settings okay then restart the computer and, and see if it'll work now after you've tried that on a lot of the ACES on the trackpad on the upper left here is right here on the trackpad you would have to tap it twice one or two and on some ACES, that'll make uh, the trackpad and the mouse work again. Okay, after you've tried that, what I want you to do is do a run function. And to do a run function, you're just going to hold down the Microsoft key with the logo and hit R. And that's going to take you to run. And then in there, you could type in control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L. And then that's going to open up the control panel, which will look like this look for in your control panel look for hardware and sounds it may look a little bit different than this and to get there you'll have to tab or use the arrow key to get down here because your mouse doesn't work and then hit enter and then enter mouse properties and then enter additional mouse options and then see if the touchpad is enabled if it isn't enable it and then restart the ASUS okay after you try that what I want you to do is go back to run, hold down the Microsoft key, hit R. You're going to go to the device manager where all your drivers are. So you're going to type in devmgmt.msc. That's for uh, to go to the device manager. And then you want to use the arrow key or the shift key to go all the way down here to mice and see if it's enabled there. To, so what you're going to do is hover, click on it, and then hover where it says trackpad or mouse. And then what you want to do is you want to right click. Well, you don't have the option to do that. So in Windows, what you do is you hold down the F, the Shift key, plus the F10 key. That'll right click it and then enter update driver. And, and that might take about 10 minutes. Make sure you're logged in to the Wi-Fi, to the Internet. You might have to connect it to an Ethernet or whatever. Restart it and see if that works. Uh, for whatever reason, if it has like a little yellow icon on it, on, on the trackpad or the mouse, then you know that uh, it's just disabled. So just go over and right-click it and enable it. Okay. Now next, I want you to go to BIOS. And I believe it's F2 for Asus to go into BIOS. So completely shut down your Asus computer. Restart it. And I believe it's F2. Let's make sure. Yeah, it's F2 on Asus. So you're just going to keep tapping F2 at startup. It's going to take you into the BIOS. It's like a like a black and blue screen. 
And if you're able to move your mouse and BIOS, that's good news. It means that your hardware is not broken and it's in the Windows uh, you know, software. So what I want you to do is locate and try to find my, the mouse in your BIOS settings. A lot of times it'll be under advanced. It'll be under internal pointing devices, touchpad or trackpad, and see if it's enabled. If it's not, enable it and hit F10 usually on ASUS to, uh, to save changes and then restart it and then tell me if your mouse works. Now, if you tried all that, still doesn't work, what I want you to do is look around your home or your apartment for a mouse that you may have with a desktop and it could be wireless or not wireless and what I want you to do is hook it up to your USB port in your ASUS and that might be a complete fix for you that might be all you want I, I prefer a mouse an optical mouse over a trackpad anyway um, and and you don't have to install a driver it'll automatically recognize the mouse and then you're good to go for whatever reason if you don't have one just you can go to Walmart or a local store or on Amazon and get one next day or the same day and then that'll and then you'll be all set. Now, for whatever reason, if you want to fix the hardware, if you know that the hardware is broken now on your trackpad, what you can do is you can disassemble the the palm rest here and you unscrew it from the bottom. Just look on YouTube; you'll find a tutorial on how to uh, disassemble it. It's not as hard as you think it is. And then on the bottom of your trackpad, look for a model number. Go on eBay and buy it off of eBay. It's usually not more than ten bucks. All right, make sure you put a comment in the comment section. Let me know if which method worked for you. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button. And I will talk to you on the next one. Thanks for watching.